It has been seven years since the moon last crossed in front of the sun, creating a total solar eclipse. And on Monday, April the 8th, it's going to happen again. And one of the best places to watch it in Niagara Falls. If you are planning, though, to head to the falls, there's a lot you should know. It's going to be a busy one. Joining us now to talk about what visitors can expect, we are joined by David Adames, who is the CEO of the Niagara Parks Commission. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you for having me on. Okay, I understand the anticipation, it is mounting. The numbers are expected to be through the roof with visitors. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're expecting for the 8th? We're expecting upwards of about a million people. I know Mayor Diodati has talked about uh, upwards of that number. So we're anticipating a busy weekend leading into the big day, uh, Monday, April the 8th. David, there are a number of places across the Niagara region where you can view this. That's where everyone wants to go. Where do we go? How do we see it, right? So let's talk a little bit about some of the locations and what's going on. So at Niagara Parks, there'll be a couple of prime viewing areas. One in particular is Queen Victoria Park. That's the area from essentially where the Rainbow Bridge is to Dufferin Islands. So a beautiful view of the Horseshoe Falls, the American Falls. Be a wonderful backdrop, uh, lots of facilities like the Table Rock Complex, our newest attraction, Niagara Parks Power Station, uh, and also the event field where there'll be a concert running from 2.30 until 10 p.m. Another prime viewing area on the South Niagara Parkway, Old Fort Erie, that's one of our heritage sites at Niagara Parks, that will also be prime viewing. I've been to that generation station and through that tunnel just recently. What an incredible facility. So thank you so much for pointing that out. But with this anticipated one million people uh, coming to the Niagara region, I would assume that logistics wise, there are some plans in place when it comes to parking and blocking off certain areas. Can you talk a little bit about that? So at Niagara Parks, our Niagara Parks Police Service is working in close collaboration with Niagara Regional Police, OPP, Border Services to ensure that we have an integrated plan. Uh, so in our key message is plan ahead. So for your viewers to uh, make their plan that day, leave extra travel time. So whether it's using uh, the GO train or GO buses to come into Niagara, or if they're driving in again, just leave plenty of time. We will have some partial road closures in place. So on Monday, April the 8th, the Niagara Parkway from Clifton Hill over to just past the Horseshoe Falls will be closed. So we're gonna basically create a pedestrian mall uh, in the core part of uh, Queen Victoria Park. I know that uh, the city will also look at some potential other uh, road closures as well. Also on the South Niagara Parkway around Old Fort Erie, we'll have road closures on the afternoon of uh, Monday, April the 8th. David, is all of this free or there's some areas, I mean, obviously viewing, you can sort of put yourself wherever the position may be, but are there um, ticketed areas as well? So the great question, lots of free viewing areas of parklands will be uh, free for the public to enjoy. Uh, parking lots will be uh, charging for parking that day. And certainly at Niagara Parks, our attractions are open. Uh, so the Butterfly Conservatory, the Niagara Parks Power Station, Journey Behind the Falls, the Floor Show House, and Old Fort Erie, uh, there are some mission charges to those sites. But we do have free public programming going on, not only on April the 8th, but actually on Friday, April 5th through Sunday, uh, April 7th as well. Beautiful. So people, I know a lot of hotels are already booked up where people were kind of planning that because for a lot of the kids, depending on the school board, they are off, right? So mm -hmm. they've got the time off to make it all happen. I have something for you, David, by the way, before you go. I came prepared. <laughs> Don't forget these. Do not forget these. Yeah, no, great, great point. <laughs> ISO certified uh, Eclipse glasses. We're encouraging our guests to bring their own. Uh, there'll be some limited quantity available, but certainly the key message, bring your ISO certified glasses. Okay, so I shall see you there. Thank you so much, David. <laughs> Appreciate the time. I'm going to leave these on. They feel right. Take care. Thank you. Good luck.